The first fly we're going to tie is a black beauty. This is a great fly to get started with and a fly that I've used for the first fly in my classes for, for a lot of years now. Um, a black beauty is a midge pupa imitation. It's a very simple fly to tie, just uses a few materials. The hook that we'll use is a TMCO 2487. That's a two extra short curved shank nymph hook. Um, this is a little bit lighter wire in order to keep the fly thin. You're certainly um, apt to tie this fly on a little bit heavier wire hook if need be. If you're fishing for larger fish or places where you can use heavier tippet, you can get away with that heavier hook. In most cases, you're fishing a small fly like this um, in water that, that is small enough and shallow enough where you can get away with lighter tippet and you don't need that heavier hook. So we're going to use this lighter wire scud hook. Um, typically, this fly is tied anywhere from a size 16 to a 24, uh, so it can go down very small. The thread I'll use on this is the 70 denier UTC thread in black. And the reason I like the 70 denier thread is it's very flat and shiny. It's going to make a nice smooth thread body on this fly. A lot of tires will use ADOT unithread to tie this same fly and that's perfectly adequate. Although the polyester thread is a little more round in cross section, it's going to make a little grainier body. It's not going to come out as smooth and as silky as the 70 denier. Um, either one is perfectly adequate. I prefer the 70 denier. The rib on this fly is fine copper wire. We want a small enough wire that it's not going to make huge segments, but we want pronounced segments. So fine sized copper wire. And I like to use something that's varnished so that the thread or so that the wire doesn't tarnish as we fish it. The head of the fly will be super fine dubbing. Um, and this is a dry fly dubbing, and that throws a lot of people off when I pick that out to tie a nymph with. Um, but that's going to work just fine. The reason I'll use the super fine dubbing is it dubs down very tight and small and is more proportioned on a little fly. Uh, you could also use rabbit dubbing. You could, there's a lot of different dubbings you can use for this. I just prefer the super fine on this fly. It makes the fly a little cleaner. So to get started, I'm going to start my 70 denier thread just behind the hook eye with just a short little jam knot. And on this fly, I'm not going to make a thread base. Everything else we'll tie today is going to have a thread base wrapped down before we put a material on the hook. In this case, in order to keep this fly skinny, I want to just start the thread and then I'll tie my wire in. So I'm going to pick up a piece of this wire and I've got eight or ten inches of it here, enough for several flies. Um, always cut off a piece of wire enough to do two or three flies rather than trying to work with real short lengths. It makes it much easier and just less of a headache to handle. I'm going to take this piece of fine wire and if we look here between the hook shank and the thread, we've got a bit of a right angle. I'm going to take the wire and put it in the front corner of that right angle and bring my thread up and over it to catch it. That's what I call a right angle technique. What that does is it allows the hook to block the wire from rolling with the thread tension. If I was to take this piece of wire and lay it right on top of the hook, as I wrap, my thread will push it away from me. It's always going to push the material away. To counteract that, we've got a lot of different techniques to counteract the thread torque. I'm going to put the wire in that right angle on the front and just catch it, just with a single turn. I'll then pull this down a bit on my near side of the hook. It'll come back around. I'll pull that down to just short of the hook eye. And I'm going to continue to wrap back over the wire, one turn right next to the other, trying to keep the wire along my near side of the hook. I'm going to come back about halfway down the bend on this hook. You can see this hook doesn't really have a defined bend as we spoke about before. It's got sort of a constant curve all the way through it. I'm going to come back about halfway down and then I'm going to continue forward again. One turn just slightly overlapping the last to make a nice smooth flat thread body. Now you can see as I tie my thread will start to wind up and that's going to happen for anybody. A little less so for me because I tie left handed. But if you tie right handed your thread's going to get very twisted as you make several turns. Um, every now and again it won't hurt to spin that bobbin to unwind it and hopefully you can see that that thread's flattened out a little bit. Keeping the thread flat will make a much smoother body. And I'll wrap up to just behind the index point. That's one eye length back from the hook eye. Now at this point I'm going to wrap our wire rib. The number of turns on the wire rib um, is really sort of up to you. Anywhere five to nine wraps of thread is fine. My brain seems to always have been set at seven turns. So whether I like it or not, I get seven turns. I'm going to wrap this in evenly spaced turns about seven times up the hook. When I get to the front, whenever I tie a material off, I've got to change hands. So I'm going to hold this wire in the hand that I was wrapping the thread with. I'm going to tie it off with a couple turns of thread using the other hand. 
I need to have the material get crossed by the thread to tie it down. Now on these fine, this fine wire, um, I don't want to come in and trim this with my scissors. It will dull my scissors and it's an extra step and it will always have a stub. Um, to get rid of this wire, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down on my bobbin and just snap the wire off. It will break off cleanly to the back. So I want to hold on to my bobbin when I do that though, um, so that the thread doesn't try to jump off the front of the hook when it springs back a little bit. So we've got our body built. And honestly, right here, you could finish this fly off with a whip finish and go catch fish, fish with it just as it is. But we're going to add just a small dubbed head. I'm going to pick out just a little strand of black superfine dubbing. This is a very small amount of dubbing here. And we're tying a relatively large black beauty. And I'm going to draw out about two or three inches of thread. I'm going to lay this dubbing in next to the thread. I'm going to try to keep it as parallel to the thread as I can. And I'll start twisting at the top just one direction only. And I did add a little bit of dubbing wax to my fingertips so that I can get a little better grab on that, on that dubbing as I start to twist it onto the thread. And I'll always work from the top to the bottom. I want to try to keep a nice smooth strand. Um, no lumps or bumps, no bare spots, no big chunks of dubbing any piled, anywhere piled up on that strand. And I'm going to use this strand of dubbing now, I'll reel my thread in a little, to build a ball here at the front of the fly. Um, I'm still going to leave a little bit of our index point here at the front just so I can have some area to whip finish. And with this dubbing, I'm going to work back and forth, building a little ball for the head and ending with bare thread right behind the hook eye. Right here is where we're going to whip finish. And I find three to five turns to be plenty. I'm going to go about four there. I'll pop this out and slide them down and then I always cinch the knot down tight. When you cinch the knot on your whip finish, you want to pull straight back in line with the hook eye. That will draw the knot down tight underneath those thread wraps and then I'll trim my thread off. That's a black beauty. Pretty simple little fly. You can tie it in a variety of colors, change the wire color, change the thread color. For that matter, you can change the dubbing color and get a lot of different midge patterns out of it. Uh, very simple, a good starter fly. Something good to start with, easy to work with, even the youngest tire can tie this fly.